Imagine being surrounded by a chilling presence, unseen eyes watching you, whispers in the dead of night. There are places that exist, tucked away in corners of the world, where such experiences are not simply figments of an overactive imagination, but a chilling reality. These are haunted places, abodes of entities that exist beyond our understanding, beyond the veil of the known. In every culture, every civilization, stories of such haunted places have been passed down through generations, igniting an undeniable fascination. The allure of the unknown, the thrill of the unseen, the chill of the unexplained, it's a peculiar human trait, isn't it? To be drawn to what we fear, what we can't comprehend. And so, as we stand on the precipice of the unknown, let's delve into the shadows, into the unseen world that exists right beside ours. Prepare to take a journey into the abyss as we explore the top five most haunted places in the United States. Located deep within the Colorado Rockies, the Stanley Hotel stands, its allure concealed beneath a veil of otherworldly events. This colonial revival giant has towered over the mountain range since the last century's dawn, a beacon that seems inviting yet coldly distant. Conceived by Freeland Oscar Stanley, an ingenious inventor, it was meant to be a lavish sanctuary for the elite. The hotel has had an illustrious roster of guests over the years, from presidents to movie stars, each leaving behind an indelible mark on its tapestry of history. But it's not the celebrities or that make the Stanley Hotel notorious. Rather, it's the spectral intruders that never seem to leave, from phantom festivities in the ballroom to the sound of childish giggles echoing eerily through vacant corridors. The Stanley Hotel is allegedly teeming with spirits. Room 217, in particular, is known to be the nucleus of strange, unexplained events. Guests claimed encounters with apparitions, sudden drops in temperature and objects relocating on their own. Among those guests was celebrated horror author Stephen King, whose and subsequent eerie experiences inspired his spine-chilling novel The Shining. King's depiction of the Stanley under the guise The Overlook, replete with its spectral tenants, has sealed its reputation as a hub for paranormal activity. Today, instead of denying its haunted heritage, the hotel has capitalized on offering thrilling ghost tours and paranormal investigations for those with nerve enough to traverse its spooky hallways. Many visit the Stanley in search of the inexplicable, hoping to get a sighting of the spectral inhabitants rumored to wander the hotel. The Stanley Hotel, with its grand architecture and petrifying past, is where history and the supernatural meld, weaving a tale that is as intriguing as it is hair-raising. It's a place where the line between the living and the dead blurs into obscurity, where remnants of the past seem to be forever trapped in the present. It's little surprise that the Stanley Hotel is hailed as one of the most haunted locations in America. Once the most famous and expensive prison in the world, Eastern State Penitentiary now stands as a decaying monument of terror. Erected in the heart of Pennsylvania, this behemoth of stone and iron was designed to evoke a sense of awe and fear, a successful endeavor if ever there was one. Eastern State Penitentiary was no ordinary prison. It was a pioneer, a prototype of the modern penal system. Its architectural grandeur and strict discipline, the very embodiment of incarceration, were replicated worldwide, but the penitentiary's progressive image hid a stark reality. Prisoners were subjected to brutal conditions. Solitary confinement was the norm. Inmates were hooded whenever they left their cells, a practice intended to intensify their isolation. The penitentiary housed some of the most infamous criminals of the era. One such resident was the notorious gangster, Al Capone, whose luxurious cells stood in stark contrast to the bleak surroundings. But even Capone, a man who ruled the Chicago underworld, spoke of a ghostly presence that haunted him during his stay. Over the years, the penitentiary has become a hotbed of paranormal activity. Visitors and staff alike report strange occurrences. They speak of eerie sounds echoing through the deserted cell blocks, footsteps, whispers, even the clanging of cell doors. Some have seen shadowy figures darting around corners. Others have felt an unseen hand touch them or a sudden drop in temperature, a classic sign of a spectral presence. Ghost hunters and paranormal investigators have flocked to the penitentiary, drawn by its chilling reputation. Their findings, 
unexplained phenomena, anomalous readings and recorded EVPs, electronic voice phenomena, that suggest communication from the other side. But perhaps the most terrifying accounts come from those who have experienced the penitentiary after dark. They speak of an oppressive atmosphere, a sense of dread that pervades the air. They tell of encounters with entities, apparitions that seem to be reliving their tormented pasts. This abandoned penitentiary holds countless chilling tales within its crumbling walls. Oh, in the heart of Louisiana, the Myrtle's plantation whispers stories of ghostly apparitions and unexplained phenomena. This grand plantation dates back to 1796, a relic of a time long past. It's been called one of America's most haunted homes, with countless tales of strange occurrences and spectral sightings. The history of the Myrtles Plantation is steeped in tragedy, with at least ten deaths recorded on the property. These deaths, some say, have left an indelible mark on the place, making it a hotbed for paranormal activity. The most famous of these ghostly figures is Chloe, a slave who lived on the plantation during the early 19th century. Legend has it that Chloe was caught eavesdropping on her master's conversations. As punishment, her master cut off one of her ears. In revenge, Chloe baked a birthday cake laced with oleander leaves, a toxic plant intending to make her master sick. However, her plan went terribly awry when his wife and two daughters ate the cake and died. Since then, Guests and staff at the plantation have reported seeing a woman wearing a green turban, believed to be Chloe wandering the grounds. Others have reported feeling an invisible hand touch their shoulder or hearing the faint whispers of a woman's voice. The grand mirror in the house is said to hold the spirits of the poisoned family members, with guests claiming to see handprints and drip marks that can't be cleaned off. Yet it's not just Chloe who haunts the grounds. Over the years, there have been reports of ghostly children playing on the veranda, phantom footsteps echoing through the halls, and even a man dressed in Confederate attire appearing on occasion. The Myrtle's Plantation is a place that echoes with the whispers of its past. It's a place where the tragedies of history have left their mark, not just on the physical structure of the plantation, but on the very fabric of its existence. It's a place that, some say, is more inhabited by the dead than the living. With its dark past, the Myrtle's Plantation is a place where the line between the living and the dead seems to blur. Once a luxurious ocean liner, the Queen Mary is now permanently docked, its elegant chambers echoing with spectral tales. Launched in the early 20th century, this majestic vessel was the last word in opulence, ferrying the high society across the Atlantic in grand style. However, the winds of war blew a harsh reality onto her polished decks. The Queen Mary was transformed into a warship during the Second World War. Stripped of her luxurious trappings, she was painted a dull grey and earned the nickname the Grey Ghost. Her role was a grim one, transporting thousands of troops to the deadly theatres of war, but it seems some of her wartime passengers never disembarked. Reports of ghostly sightings aboard the Queen Mary are as numerous as they are chilling. From phantom footsteps echoing down her deserted corridors to spectral figures seen wandering her decks, the ship is alive with otherworldly activity. Among the most famous of these apparitions is the Lady in White. This ethereal figure, dressed in a flowing white gown, is often spotted dancing alone in the ship's grand ballroom. Sightings of her have been so frequent and consistent that many believe she is a former passenger, eternally bound to the ship she once loved. This majestic ship is a floating testament to the supernatural, making it one of the most haunted places in America. At the top of our list is the infamous Amityville House, a place of horror that has inspired countless films and books. This chilling abode is nestled in the heart of New York, a seemingly normal house with a past as dark as a moonless night. It's here that a gruesome tale unfolds, one that has left an indelible mark on the annals of paranormal history. In the dead of night, in 1974, six members of the DiFio family were brutally murdered in their sleep. The culprit was none other than the eldest son, Ronald DeFeo Jr., who claimed he was driven to the act by voices in the house. An eerie beginning to a tale that grows only more chilling. Just a year later, the Lutz family moved in, attracted by the surprisingly affordable price tag. But their dream house quickly turned into a nightmare. 
reports of strange odors, cold spots, and unseen forces moving objects around the house began to emerge. The Lutzes even claimed to see glowing red eyes peering at them in the night. After a mere 28 days, the terror became too much. The Lutz family fled, leaving all their possessions behind. They never returned to the Amityville house, a place they claimed was haunted by a malevolent presence. The Amityville house, a grim reminder that some places are touched by an unsettling darkness that refuses to fade.